up. Make sure so when you post my video, you talk it through them when we talk, you know. See, somebody just tag king, say king mix up over ya. Nobody gonna mix up, not the king mix up. Make sure king mix up, you talk it how it go. No put in nothing in it. No add in no sugar, no add in no salt. Anyway. <laughs> okay people the game is up incoming rico charges very soon people may not gonna lie to you just as expected the police are looking for squash and a few other members of the g6 yes their names was listed in these court documents i'm about to read for honor it's him i said i'm not gonna lie to you people after reading this documents to honor you're gonna be coming to the same conclusion as me the case done solved already you see me i said you know what I mean? Because them don't have CCTV footages, ring along camera footages, DNA evidence linking J Man to the crime. The family of Muslim man them is snitching, as well as anonymous people calling in giving tips on Squash and MG6 um, members. You see, I said they even looking at their Instagram pages. You know what I mean? So, well, these people are worried about vloggers. Uh, themself is going to do them in people the prosecution knows all about the gang wars them in jamaica and they hit on squash's head because trust nope. <laughs> yo son let me tell you earlier in the review that police boy them in jamaica is gonna be working with these people in the near future because this is gonna get political you feel what i'm saying because I bear assault rifle bullets and all of these things on the streets of America by immigrants. Yes, people. J Man was seeking asylum and him deal with the program like this. You know what I mean? And you know he's facing death penalty, so trust the prosecution is gonna want him to snitch. You know what I mean? Because he's facing the death penalty. You see me, sir. Yeah, no, so hey, what I'm wanting for the people. Like and share the video right now on all social media platforms, Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook, and Twitter. You see me, I say, grab a cup of joe, you know, coffee or some tea, and let's just get straight into it. Okay, people, so I already know the first page, go. you know, the picture of the person, as you can see, Jai Hume, and they're going to list, uh, you know, the counts and the charges and all of that stuff. So I'll be skipping all of that and just going straight to the meat of the matters. And why they charged him with premeditated murder, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, and the person, um, the detective that, um, you know, was given the information, have 16 years of experience in this field. Um, and that a gang homicide, because, you know, it's capital homicide, you feel me? So, yeah. Okay, so they're probably because, you know, on October 19th, I'm not going to lie, people, it's like a movie, you know. The police then was called because, you know, gunshots was being heard, fired, and all of these things, you see, mercy. So they respond on the scene, and then find two men, you know, muscle, and the next man lying down. Um, gunshots wound to the face and the body and all of this stuff, you see me, I say. And, you know, later on, somebody said that there was three adult black males that were hanging out in front of her residence. Yes, the witness is speaking. Stated that the three black males are known to frequent the area. Later advised that she observed a black vehicle, unknown tag, make, and model back up directly in front of the residence and multiple black adult males exited the vehicle shortly after the witness observed weapons being drawn and shots fired and then the witness then stated she found covered inside of her residence for safety officer j um then made contact with another witness who advised that she was you know catering to dinner at the dining table and room table located at the rear of her residence when she heard multiple gunshots coming from outside Surveillance cameras were located above the front door of the residence. Um, officers requested to view the video and was granted access and were able to review the footage. While officers were on the scene, they received a call from, you know, the BSO detailed deputy of, you know, the hospital, you know, letting them know that a black male has just been dropped off at the emergency room with a gunshot wound to the neck. You see, me, I see me people said so the rumors on the street. Uh, connect now blood club um the detailed unit advised that it could be possibly related to lauder hill active case information related revealed that a black sedan dropped the victim off at a hospital okay 11 5 p.m your affidavit arrived at the crime scene and conducted a visual assessment of the scene the following observations were made two black males lying on in the road 
with multiple gunshot wounds to the body and head people. You know, I mean, this was, it seems like it was an up close um, shootout, you see, as, uh, and a handgun um, was found with extended magazines in the um, left pocket and another extended magazine, you see, me, I say he was identified as black. You know, the medical advisor them, you know, eight bullets to effects to the body. And the same thing with the second gunshot um, victim, you see, me, I say he was identified, you know, as they're blanking out these people, neighbor, we know, say, a muscle on them, you see, me, I say. Then he had eight bullets um, to the body as well. And several rifle and handgun rounds were scattered um, throughout the parking lot. Multiple vehicles had defects. You see, and more people I talk, I made contact with the resident at Blank and they reviewed the footage. The following are pictures of a synopsis of my findings. Blank is sitting in the passenger seat of a silver 2012 Infinity bearing Florida tags. You know this, that, and the third, you see me, And F is standing between the passenger doorway of the same Infinity, a black sedan, backs up and strikes a wood stake at the location of, you know them blank, you know these people name. A black male wearing tight-fitted blue jeans, small-sized black shirt, and a black balacalavea exists um, in the rear driver's side, you see. And these are the footage, you see me, I said. We're gonna get clearer um, pictures in the future, so let's make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Well, anyway, the victims appear to initially be leery of this vehicle. Initially, produces a handgun but once he observed a black male wearing the tight fitted blue jeans black you know shirt and black whatever exit the rear driver side of the door it appears he knows this person and let his guard down remember we tell you said that these people sell weed and you know and then these people um know each other so you see me anyway the black male wearing the tight fitted blue jeans black shirt and black whatever walks over to and you know, Tom fists and shakes his hand and you know, walks to the passenger side of the vehicle. And after a brief conversation, three more males exit the dark colored sedan. Seconds later, the rear passenger points and fires a gun towards the head of Blank, subsequently shooting him in the head. All right, this picture right here. Now, it should be noted that the black male wearing the tight fitted blue jeans, black shirt, and the black balacavia is standing directly next to, you know, they cut out his name when he is shot. When Blank is struck, um, the black male wearing the tight fitted blue jeans, black shirt, and black whatever initially drops to the ground as if he is hit by the gunfire, as well as before running to the rear of, you know, the, um, the, 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 the apartments. It should be noted that there was blood trail towards the same direction behind Blank. Um, where the black male wearing the tight fitted blue black jeans and shirt and black whatever ran. He was seen next to the green electrical box prior to running behind the residence. Um, there was blood droplets. So it looked like, say, a friendly fire rascal. You know, it looked like, say, they were supposed to stand up next to a homeboy. And then, boom, homeboy come out and just pop off in the head, you know. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. But you notice how they're trailing J-Man because that's where his DNA is going to be um, matched. That's what ties him to the scene, you know. So furthermore, after the shooting, the black male wearing the tight-fitted blue jeans, black shirt, and the black balaclava. People, I can't pronounce the name. Balaclava um, was observed running back from around the residence to the vehicle. Prior to running to the vehicle, he fired shots at the body of Blank, who was already on the ground. <laughs> The disrespect people, that's like Nipsey Hussle um, being shot. And, you know, when the guy was going to leave him, kick him in the head and all of this stuff. Boy, 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 boy. Who was already on the ground like the people them said so. It's not a good look, people. You see me, I say. Anyway, per the video footage and crime scene photos, there was blood located at the exact spot where the black male wearing the tight-fitted blue jeans, black shirt, and black black alala. Um entered the getaway vehicle as you can see right there you see me uh, uh, the footage that you see you know is um blood located where the vehicle was positioned to pick up the black male wearing tight fitted blue jeans black shirt and black baklava 
Um, while watching the surveillance footage, it does not appear that either victim were able to fire any shots. All the shots came from the four individuals in the sedan. Bombaras. <laughs> Whoa. Some people wasn't playing. But on Thursday, October 20th, approximately 3 p.m., a subpoena was issued um, to HCA Florida Woodman Hospital located uh, where the individual, you know, went in for the neck room um, and thing and thing. Upon reviewing the footage of the following was observed approximately 9.30 p.m., 10 minutes after the double homicide, a black sedan that matches um, the same description um, of, the, of the ones that, you know, did the, the homicide, you feel what I'm saying, the scene of the homicide, the same one that dropped them off um, with the gunshot room to the neck. The vehicle has the same body type, color, and rims configuration as the homicide suspect vehicle. It should be noted that the distance from the crime scene to the HCA Florida um, Woodman Hospital is approximately six miles. And a light-skinned black male wearing tight-fitted blue jeans, small black shirt wrapped around his neck, was seen walking into the hospital attempting to receive help with a gunshot wound to his neck. Not knowing his connection to the case, and because he was in critical condition, officers attempted to identify him via a local database fingerprints to no avail. Border Patrol was requested in an attempt to check to see if he could be um, identified nationality, nationally, you know what I mean? Um, and Jareem Shelton is a Jamaican national who entered the country illegally but is on parole status until he sees a judge about his status. You know what I mean? And Jareem's clothes was matched. They think I think so. It looked like say asylum. They're not sick, but when the judge see this harass now nah. <laughs> Hell no. Um, but like I was saying, Jareem, um him closing initially taken by, you know, the Lord of Hill crime scene and placed into evidence, you know. So the clothes he walked in, you know, to the hospital, you know, you have to take it off to, you know, to then put in the crime scene. Because it appears that Jaheem Shelton was wearing pants with a distinctive patch on the back right side of his jeans. You know what I mean? Um, a check of the surveillance footage from the homicide location revealed that the black male wearing the tight-fitted blue jeans, black shirt, and black balakava had a distinctive patch on the right side of his pants. So on all the crime with distinctive features are rascal. I don't know to the badness, is it me? And this is where the family members is talking though. The police said I was contacted by a family member of one of the I'm guessing the descendants who advised that there has been an ongoing feud with a gang out of Montego Bay, Jamaica. I was advised that one of the individuals that was feuding with the victim was a male with the nickname Chayman. I also received an anonymous tip um, which stated there was a shooting in Lauder Hill and that is believed to be gang related. That was a third person involved who was shot as well as able to get away. The anonymous tip stated that they have aliases. People listen up now. Squashman, Jayman, Freeman called themselves G City Gang. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> so all who in at the six? When a better boy, 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 boy. But anyway, people. After searching the name of Jareem Shelton, open source revealed an open Instagram page of J Man Music. A picture from this open page revealed a male who resembles Jareem Shelton as depicted in the hospital surveillance footage. Is it me? And guess who picture is the last picture posted? Yeah, the one in front of you anyway. On Thursday, October 21st, um, and then I have another anonymous tip uh, from Blueberry Hills Condos. Um, two men, Muscle Man and Ford Lord, Father Lord, were shot and killed. And J Man was shot and is in the hospital first. I want to emphasize that these guys that are involved in these shootings, they and their gang members have vowed a bloody revenge on the death of their friends. You see me also? So this is why I'm telling you, say, the police know everything we are going for not going, you know. You see me also, and they're talking about, you know, muscle and father law. That's why I said the police ready no squash. Got a hit on him, you know what I mean? And this is where they get the full details of the gang. So the judge is going to know about these people. 
if G6 City or whatever wasn't on the radar of the ABC boys, them they're on the radar. No, you see me, that's why I said incoming Rico Charles. But this is what the witnesses and the snitches them is telling the police. The gang war started in a place on the island of Jamaica called Salt Spring, Montego Bay, Jamaica. Um, one gang is called Bad Breed, the other is called Bus Head, and the third is called Six. They were all friends but became enemies, hence the three different factions. Bad Breed is led by Marvin Brown, a.k.a. Ramos, who according to sources is now based in Atlanta, Georgia. Bushead is comprised of Jayman, Rayman, and Fredman. Six is led by a reggae artist, <laughs> you mean dancehall artist, Andre Wichika. Stage name is Squash. Squash merged with um, Butch, Bushead gang members to take on Ramos and um, his bad breed gang. All these guys are wanted in Jamaica um, for murder, but brought their way to Florida. <laughs> Boy, boy, boy. These gangs square off recently at a club called the Garden 41, located um, in 4340 um, Road in Lauderdale Lakes on Wednesday, October 3rd, 2022. Six, along with Busset Gang, um, traded bullets with Bad Breed. You see? So all of these things is documented in America. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So Rico Charge, this is definitely incoming soon, you know. But about the shooting on 10 22 word on the street is that Muscle Man is a hired gun who freelances work to the highest bidder. Squash, Muscle Man, for the Lord, and J-Man are all friends. It is said that Squash was doing or take talking about drug deal when someone started shooting at Squash, trying to kill him. Squash and his cronies um, concluded that Muscle, you know, man got paid for the, you know, Ramos to set up Squash because Muscle... Man, car was seen nearby. It, it said Squash got grazed during the attempted assassination. Um, and, you know, he, we ran, he, we, he escaped, basically, you know. So J-Man, Fredman, and Raymond went looking for Muscle Man when they found him at Blueberry Hill Condo. Father Lord, or whatever his name, was also there talking to Muscle Man. They opened fire on them, hitting them both. It is said that Muscle Man returned... Um, hitting them but as 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 the, the court documents uh finish read is gonna them even get a chance to fire one shot you see man some people but after reading the court documents you will see that they even have them even release one shot you see me um but this is what a witness is, is telling the police them you see me you know what i mean that muscle return fire hitting j man you see it I mean, no, no, the, 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 the thing is kind of choppy. It says, serve these guys because they vow an all-out war on the streets of Florida and wherever their enemies and families and friends reside. You see me? And as you can see, the two pictures down below is, um, you know, the affidavit applied for, uh, was granted DNA warrant to retrieve, you know, swabs from Jareem. You know what I mean? Because you just can't take people DNA like that. You need a warrant, you see me? And these are the DNA that led, um, um, that ties him to the crime, you see me? And now, the affidavit responded um, to the Broward Hurt, you know, basically, you know, okay, giving the clear to get the DNA, blah, blah, blah. While well, retrieving additional surveillance footages at the incident, um, I observed the following. Okay, what does it say? The victim arrives at the location, bam, 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 um, Blank is observed removing what appears to be a long gun, possible rifle of, from the trunk of the vehicle. He arrived in a 2012 Silver Infinity um, then shows this gun to two other people um, before walking off the camera and then returns to the vehicle and places it back in the trunk to the vehicle where it appears to remain. Okay, about six minutes later, Blank is observed entering the residence at 5825 Blueberry Court. A um, couple hours later, a male wearing a light-colored shirt is seen exiting the residence located at Blank. This male is seen walking from the residence directly to the black suspect vehicle. The male is seen talking to someone inside the suspect vehicle moments prior to the shooting. The male wearing the light-colored shirt is seen then getting into the passenger side of the black Mercedes-Benz and driving away as the Honda rounded the corner to commit the homicide. And see the infinity them there, you see. 
The victim was observed entering the residence blank at approximately 6.32. A male wearing a light-colored shirt was observed exiting the residence and making direct contact with the homicide vehicle moments before the shooting. The residents at this location have been uncooperative as attempts have been made to retrieve the possible surveillance footage from the exterior camera affixed to the residence that might have captured the shooting. On Tuesday, October 25th, 2022, approximately 1.05 p.m., um, the affidavit submitted um, was granted a search warrant for the dwelling for the dwelling of Blank. The warrant was signed by, you know, the Honorable Judge um, Odom. And approximately 18.30 hours, the search warrant was executed at 58.25, you know, Blueberry Court, Lauderdale, Hill, by the assistance of the sheriff and the SWAT. Um, the search warrant produced several ring cameras, <laughs> pending ring search warrants, you see me, I say, and a box of magazine and ammo. On Tuesday, October 25th, approximately 6 a.m., you know, your affidavit responded to the BSC, you know, for the swabs and the DNA. And this is how them tie J-Man to the scene. You know what I mean? This is why I say they don't really need anything else. You know what I mean? They are ready to convict such man. Um, for murder, so it looked like he's gonna snitch people because look at this now. The swabs from Jareem Shelton five twenty five ninety six to be compared to suspected blood um, from the ground of the scene of the homicide and the electrical box at the scene of the homicide and from leaves at the scene of the homicide on October twenty fifth, twenty twenty two, six fifteen p.m. Um, the affidavit received an email from the Broward Sheriff Crime Lab, you know, so they're getting the results in now. And you can see, you know, this, this, the following evidence was submitted for analysis. The blood on the ground, electrical box, leaves, and you know, blood from obviously Jareem Shelton. And presumptive testing indicated the presence of bloods on items 1, 2, and 3. So they got a positive match for the ground, electrical box, and the leaves. And obviously they don't need a match from Jareem Shelton, a.k.a. J. Man. So the DNA results from the item listed above in items 1, 2, and 3 were interpreted interpreted as originated from the single um, male contribu contributor, Jareem Shelton. Boy, oh boy. I don't think these guys really think this thing true, you know, because the badness we're not doing at Jamaica. It's not the type of badness that should be doing in America. America is a place where black people freedom is is you already know how it is, you know. I know now there's some crimes and I leave on the face open and all of this stuff. Boy oh boy oh boy. Anyway, people let's proceed. And it said it should also be noted that Jareem Shelton is seen firing a gun at, you know, the victim who is already prone on the ground from gunshot wound. You know what I mean? So even this is going to uh, take a toll on the jurors and the judge, you know, like, damn, this guy is dead already. And you're just firing more shots him to make sure that he's dead, you know, based on all of the above listed to include Jareem Shelton's DNA being on scene. The time to reach the hospital from the scene is consistent with Jareem Shelton's arrival at the hospital. The affidavit believes that there is probable um, cause for the arrest of Jareem Shelton. It's amazing. Uh, for the statutes being violated, count one, murder in the first degree, premeditated. Count two, murder in the second degree, premeditated. And you know, he got an immigration um, charge on him. It's amazing. So the private bill caused to believe that Jaim Shelton, you know, his date of birth is, um, wow, he's only 26 years old. He looks a lot older. You see me, I say. All of this is not the first degree. You see me, I say, my people. And that's it for right now, people. You know, you have to keep it rolling. You have to lock away. I drop the things then before they reach the news, you know. And you're going to say all of them that suck with Jamaican vloggers remix this shit, you feel me? Because that's what they do. But I'm going to tell you, no lie, people. It's not a good look for Squash. And it might be too late to separate himself um, from these people. You know, the police is getting informants from these people's families. Regular citizens is calling, giving them tips. They're going out on the social media, um, Instagram, and seeing what now I deal with. I'm pretty sure that they're going to contact um, the Jamaican authorities to, you know, to find out more about these guys, you know. So one thing I know about the Bloods and the Crips and the Zoles and we see what's happening with YSL in Atlanta. Um, 
it hitting niggas with Rico. Rico is a thing they use to take down the mob people. And we're looking at Squash and J Man. They don't got mob money, you feel me? So it's a tool they use to dismantle black criminal enterprise or gangs, I should say, you know what I mean? And it don't look like J Man even have a lawyer as a public defender in my work with. Like, the public defender is going to tell you to cooperate to save your life. You know what I mean? I don't know if he got kids um, that squash them, can't take care of all the mother, but man, people want to put in the comment section what in the thing. Uh, because we say squash drop a song today, and he must say, you know, vloggers them bad mind them wish he was dead, you know, and all of this stuff. Like, yo, my nigga, now's not the time to be dropping ish, you know. Now's the time to be speaking to your lawyer and, and, and sorting out your life, you know, you see me? You know what I mean? But anyway, people, I'm not going to this not long enough. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Because most of one are new. Hit the notification bell to be notified when we drop the latest in the dancehall news, musical reviews, and gossips. Bless.